Hello, my name is Ron Taylor. I'm with Huggins Honda, and I'm going to show you guys the new Honda Accord 2018. This is the 1.5 turbo charging model. One thing that you're really going to love about this vehicle is that it has a remote start. All you have to do is press the lock button twice, and then press and hold on that button right there. The lights will blink, and it'll automatically start the car. Once you start the vehicle, the cabin temperature will automatically go to 70 degrees to keep a nice medium temperature, whether it's hot or cold outside. So I'm going to take you guys to the back seat. So back here you have a lot of space. We have the leather seats of course because this is the Touringa model. Um, if you press this button right here, the back seats do have heated seats. You have one that adjusts here and then on the other side you have another adjust over there. Um, all three means it's the hottest, two is the medium, and then one is the lowest. Also you have a child's lock so if you have any kids in the back you can just push that down and kids can't open it, you have to open it from the outside. Alrighty, and one of, the, one of the really cool things about this vehicle, you can just open up the trunk easily like that. Say if you have your backpack or anything like that, um, whenever you toss it in the trunk, uh, you know, with your key in it, and you try to hop over there, you're like, oh, okay. It won't shut the trunk. So that's how you know your keys are in there. Um, one thing that's really great about this car as well is that it has the capless gas system. So under here, where your spare tire is, you can come see. You have your jack right here, then you have your spare under here, and right here is the funnel. So with this funnel, um, say if you run into the gas, unfortunately, or anything like that, um, you just come over here to the gas, gas system right here, and you put, the, you put this in here, and then you get the gallon of gas, and then you pour it in there. But whenever you go to the gas station or anything like that, you can just stick it in, no problem. I'm going to go ahead and place this back at its original place, just so I don't lose track of it. And then I'm going to shut the top. All right. All right. And then I'm going to take you guys up to the, to the front. So even though that we've remote started the vehicle, um, you still have to press, put your foot on the brake and press the start button to let the vehicle know that you're in it. All righty. And as you can see, I have the driver one key right here. So whenever I have this key, it's automatically going to sync up to this to the preset, the memory seat. Um, you can adjust it as well. So if I were to get in with the driver two, it automatically adjusts. But even if you get in with one, and then you have two, um, you can still you can still set that up, or you just press the button to whichever one you want to uh, set it up to. I'm um, going to automatically set up your mirrors and everything like that. Um, over here, you can adjust your mirrors right here, um, lock or unlock, pop your trunk. Um, if you will, you can come inside, and I'll show you some of the other features in the cockpit. Alrighty, so the steering wheel has a lot going on right here. This vehicle does come with Honda Sensing. Um, right here, that's how you adjust your lights. I would personally leave it on auto for a majority of the time, but you can, you know, you can turn it off or on just by twisting it right there. Um, your signals are right here as well. Um, your windshield wipers are there as well. And also, that's one thing that's really cool that's brand new to the new 2018 is the heads-up display. So right here, you see it right there. It's awesome. Uh, really cool, really high-tech. If you press the HUD button, you can change to see what you have displayed up there. So you have your adaptive, adaptive cruise control set up and things like that. So you have your compass, how you want that set up, any, anything that you really want set up. You can also adjust the height in a little bit, which I'll show you guys. Um, also has your pedal shifters if you do want to go into a sport manual mode or anything like that You just press the sport button and it also changes the display right here to red Or you can go to a econ mode which changes gears at a lower rpm and just kind of does a lot of little things to help save you gas um, As far as the cruise control you just want to press the main button right here and then press the set button You have to be going at least over 45 miles an hour to turn that on um, This button right here is your lane keep assist um, this will help you keep in your lane and it'll apply a little bit of torque to the steering wheel. You can't keep your hands off the wheel, but you, you know, you can just rest them right here. Um, right here, this is your adaptive cruise control. It monitors the distance between you and another vehicle to make sure that you have a safe distance. So normally when you have your cruise control, um, you know, you're going 65 miles an hour on the highway and uh, a car starts to slow down or, or go on the brakes and then you have to slam on your brakes and adjust. This with the Honda sensing, it uses the camera and the sensors on the vehicle 
to monitor the distance between you and another vehicle so you don't have to slam on the brakes and you know you can just relax and really enjoy your ride of the vehicle um, also one thing that's really cool about this vehicle is that it has the vented seats right here so like I said the three is the most uh, two is you know middle and then one is the least um, same thing with the heated seats you can also adjust it as a dual climate control so I can have my temperature you can have your temperature or if you press the sync button I can control both um, or if you have it on auto just adjust the fan speed and, and the things like that due to the, due to the condition um, you can also adjust where you want the air to flow you know feet air and there um, your front defroster your rear defroster if you want your AC on or off um, basically everything you know is just there for itself and one thing that's really really cool about this car is that it does have the wireless charger so see here I have an iPhone X all I do is just drop it in right there and it automatically starts charging and if it doesn't come up then all you have to do is just press that power button right there you can use it with the iPhone 8 and above or certain Androids just really depends um, speaking about you know your cellular device um, one thing that's really cool about this car is that it do has um, Bluetooth connections so if you know if you, you need to answer a phone call or anything it's really easy to set up you just click that connect device and you'll see it pop up right there loading and then make sure the numbers match up you can make sure you can set up your contacts and things like that. I'm going to go ahead and allow that. Alrighty, so it's connected. Alright, so once you have it connected, if anybody calls me or anything like that, I can either answer or decline it on here or on the screen above. If I press the phone button, I can, oh, I can also set it up through there or anything like that. Um, one thing that's really cool is that it does have the Apple CarPlay so um, even though this vehicle does have um, oops, excuse me sorry about that even though this vehicle does have navigation you can hook up your phone and use your your navigation directly off your phone so all you have to do is just allow it and once it's allowed you just press the Apple CarPlay button and it displays right there your messages, music, maps, anything like that is automatically displayed. Your Audible, any any apps, if you even if you have Spotify, it'll sync up to there. And uh, you can also use Siri. One thing that I I really like Siri for is just for like, hey Siri, take me to the closest Starbucks. Getting directions to Starbucks. And then it'll take you right over there, directly off your phone. So that's going to be very useful. A lot of vehicles don't come with it, and this vehicle does. Um, also has your sunroof, things like that. Very easy to use. Just tap the button, goes up. Also has the NFC, so if you have an Android, you just tap it there, and it can display your images up on there. So that's about it for the cockpit area. Um, you have your electronic parking brake as well. You just pull that up or push it down. Um, you also have your brake hold, so if your car is in drive and you pull up to a stoplight, you just tap the brake hold, let your foot off the brake, and then I'll stop at the light. And if you will, we can go ahead and take a step out. I'm going to pop the hood, and then I think that should be it. So one thing that I always do is I put my hand all the way down and then rub it across, and then you'll feel it. So you need to do it this way or this way, and then just so you can feel it. Right here you lift it up, drop that right in there. Right here is a fire retardant, so God forbid anything happens um, and, and the engine catches on fire or anything like that, it'll help put out the fire. Everything's easy to access, your wiper fluids, your battery, everything like that. So that's about it for the 2018 Accord. Um, have a wonderful evening. Thank you.